Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the fall Fab Fit Fun in this gigantic box. I do have an add on in here, which is why I've got this huge box. Oh, I do want to quickly say though that I got mine kind of late, at least in comparison, because someone else I know has like a regular monthly subscription and they got theirs like two weeks ago. And meanwhile, I'm like the select, like yearly member who's supposed to get it early. And yeah, it took all this time. I was supposed to get it about five or six days ago, but at least it's here and it's in good condition. So let's get to the unboxing. I did do one add-on. I think I had like a bunch in my cart and I was like, no, I don't need all this. And I just did one, but this is the Wonder Beauty Glow Getter Mist. Now this I was really excited about. I personally loved everything from Wonder Beauty that I've tried. I actually used one of the brow pencils today. Um, the under eye mask, I have a little palette that's cute. There's some, there's other stuff, but I can't remember it all right now. But I did want to try this out and I actually just did my makeup. I'm still a little bit powdery, so I figured we would do a quick spritz. It definitely smells like a more natural spa type scent. So if you like that type of a scent, you may love this. So water, olive, glycol, glycol, um, propolis, which is like honey-ish niacinamide. Hmm. There's a lot of good ingredients in this. So I am excited. Hopefully this will give me a beautiful kind of glowy finish without too glowy. You know, sometimes it can go off the deep end. So now we can get into the box. All right. So I do have the fall Fab Fit Fun. It is a, it's a big old box too. So I'm excited to see what I got. I honestly don't remember. It's been a while, like since I did all the like selections and things. So let's dive in. I just like pour it open. Also, let me know what you think of my makeup. It's a little like monochrome. I feel like this is a nice like rosy peachy like transition into fall type thing because I'm not ready for like full on fall makeup. Like I love fall makeup, but I've really enjoyed like the neon theme this summer. So anyway, so here's our box. Here's a sneaky peeky. I do not remember selecting this. I don't remember seeing this because if this is what I think it is, I'm about to be super excited. I don't remember this at all. Oh no, okay, never mind. It's a straightener. I thought for a second that it was the like waiver that they make. I love that. I tried it out in store and oh, so nice. This is really pretty though. Look at that. It's an Amika straightener. I don't remember this, but I feel like I do remember a straightener. I just. I guess I'm blanking that it was actually an Amika one, but it's really pretty. I love like it's got a little texture there. And of course, Amika products are always cute. And everything I've tried, I have really liked. I mean, most everything. So I am excited to, you know, give this a shot. This box is probably going to be like all surprises to me because my memory has failed me. I'm not intrigued by the rest of this stuff. I can just tell you that. Sorry. I know everybody loves their FabFitFun, but... <laughs> And they're just trying to eat like the paper shred in it. I'm about to go to my FabFitFun and see what I chose because I don't remember any of this. Let's see. E box Review. Okay. Okay. I'll probably wind up loving some of this stuff, but like just at first glance, I'm like, eh. next thing is Humankind Skin Care with a Conscience. This is a body souffle. It doesn't say what the scent is, but it may just be like naturally scented. It smells very fresh. Definitely smells like a really nice shampoo. <laughs> it doesn't feel like greasy, which I like, because usually with hand creams, I'm like, oh, get it off my, you know, fingers. But this feels pretty nice. Okay, we got something from Aveda. This is the Damage Ready Daily Hair Repair. Instant Visible Repair. Protects from heat styling. Work a small amount of products into hands. Apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. So, okay, heat styling and repair. So, I mean, I like both of those aspects. I can honestly say I've never really wanted to try Aveda products, but you know, maybe this is the way that I'll find out that they're great products and that I love them and need them. Um, but it's just never been a brand where I'm like, yes, I need that. Uh, yeah, next. Okay, we got the Body Boost Gel. Okay, I do remember this now. That's my bad. I just didn't remember the name or like what it looked like. But this is the Body Boost Gel. It's a stimulant. So this tones, firms, and smooths. And you put it on before you work out. So I'm actually really 
curious to see how that works, especially now that I'm not going to go into great detail in this video, but I am doing keto. So with weight loss, you know, your skin needs a little bit of tightening, um, especially in specific areas. So I will definitely have to try this out. If you are interested in seeing if this actually like tones and firms and smooths, let me know. Maybe I can do a video on it. Maybe. Next, something I do like. This is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I have heard some people love these, some people don't. I personally thought they did a pretty decent job. It looks like you get six pairs in this box. So they come like this and they are little gold patches for your under eye. They're also really cute, which doesn't hurt. So, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at a Wonder Beauty product. Like I said, I really love their stuff. Okay, we got the Exfoliating Sugar Cubes Juice Cleanse. Hmm? by Harper and Ari. So take a single cube with you in the shower or bath, massage over wet skin, concentrating on rough patches, recommend use twice a week. Okay, I will definitely try these out. I've not used an exfoliating sugar cube before. Mm, they smell good. I, I legit for a second was like, smell it. Oh, I like the little glow that that spray gave me. Like, I know you can see my highlight, but like, I've got like a little natural glow. That smells yummy though. I will definitely use these. The only thing about using an exfoliating product in the bath is that you want to do it last. Otherwise, you know, you've got like little sugar granules and you're like sitting on them in the bath. It's not a comfortable feeling. Okay, I think the next thing is a makeup bag. I know some people really like getting makeup bags, but like, oh my God, I got 50. This is however, oh wait, is this a lunch bag? Okay, it's a lunch tote, excuse me. Excuse me, no. He's like a goat. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, so this is a Kate Spade lunch tote. It's actually really cute. So it's got a little little Kate Spadey tag, and then on fine print it says out to lunch. So I am actually I'm gonna take back what negativity I just said, and I'm about to put my lunch in it because I think I'm gonna take an avocado and some cheese and uh, a zevia. So this is perfect. Okay, this is really cute. It's insulated inside, of course. So I think this is like the perfect size for a nice little lunch. So yeah, right, so we have one more thing. This is the Cosmetics Pure C Vitamin C Mixing Crystals. I actually just saw another product like this. Oh, who was it from? I think it was from Neogen that I just saw and I was like, oh, maybe I want that. Mm, dummy, I just got one. So this you just mix in. It says mix crystals, a few shakes with any of your favorite cosmetics products. If it's anything like the other one, it's said to mix in with serum, essence, or toner. So that's probably what I would do probably with a serum. So it's like vitamin C, fresh vitamin C. It is L-ascorbic acid. Um, lately I've been using more THD ascorbates, which are supposed to be a little stronger, less irritating. But I think because it's a powder form and it's basically kind of like fresh when you use it, that I don't think this will be irritating. I don't usually have a problem with vitamin C's anyway, but you know, obviously I don't want anything to be irritating to my skin. Sorry, if I'm acting like a crazy person, forgive me. I don't know, I'm in, I'm in a weirdy mood. So the Amika Strand Perfect Styler is $80. Okay, she is pricey. It says it's 100% ceramic for safe and even heat for shiny smooth hair. I've been using the same cheese straightener for maybe like nine years. So maybe it is time for a new one. Because mine works so well, it's not something that I would like go out and purchase. But I'm like, okay, well, you know, I could definitely use this one. And I've also had a little GHD one that I've had as like my backup for almost just as long. So I don't know what I'm doing with my life. The Humankind Body Souffle goes for $18, and it says it has apricot oil and shea butter. That sounds really good. My hands feel great too. Like they don't feel oily. They smell like nice but lightly scented, which is what I like. The Exfoliating Sugar Cubes go for $16. So the box of six of the Gold Eye Mask from Wonder Beauty go for $25. The Damage Remedy from Aveda goes for $30. That's a little pricey. The Kate Spade Lunch Tote goes for $30. Not surprised there. Actually wouldn't have been shocked if it was even more expensive because it's Kate Spade. The Skin Ball the Boost Gel is $45. I personally would not go out and pay for that because I don't, I don't have high expectations for this because I feel like most things that are toning, firming, smoothing, cellulite, whatever, 
they just generally don't work that well i found a couple don't get me wrong but they're few and far between but i am really excited to try this out and i can't wait to see if it works and finally the cosmetics pure c this guy goes for 54 dollars also really pricey um it says add a dose of 100 pure ascorbic acid to your nighttime serum or moisturizer okay this one is serum or moisturizer so that's good to know so okay pretty pricey so all in all i do think it's really cool that i got an amica straightener it's not a luxury item i would have went out and purchased for myself right now but you know when the box is 50 dollars and this is 80 you're off to a really good start i am glad to get these baggage claim eye masks i always love wonder beauty as i said for the freaking third time sorry um but the other things that i'm intrigued by are the skin vault the body boost gel and then also this pure c from cosmetics um i'm definitely very interested in those two i don't really get overjoyed with body lotions just because i feel like i'm personally always getting them but if you don't get a lot of subscription boxes or you know have a ton of them this would be a great item to get the damage remedy from Aveda I'm you know I'm neither here nor there I'm not very good with using hair products consistently I mean I do but I'm you know I'm not the best and I don't put like four products in my hair I'm like okay with those items um, I don't hate anything in this box by any means but I am also intrigued for the sugar cubes to exfoliate my body um, I have to say this is not like my favorite fab fit fun box usually in their boxes there's a couple items that i'm like oh my god i'm so glad i got them and i can't really say that for this one i mean i'm happy with everything it's not bad at all but you know there have been better months so let me know what you think below did you get fab fit fun and what did you think of the fall box i'm usually most excited for the fall and winter boxes i feel like i don't know those are my jam you get cozy stuff you get i mean fall is just amazing to me it's my favorite season so i'm always really excited for them so i'd love to know what you guys got and what you think about this month's box also if you have a moment please leave me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you know when i upload videos thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, I need scissors. Damn, now Mary's also chewing the box. Thank you. You forgive me? And